The average person has five liters of blood running through their veins. Out of this blood come three products that can save lives. Red blood cells that carry oxygen, platelets that help stop bleeding, and plasma, a protein-rich liquid that helps us fight infection. Hospitals need all blood types to help them save lives. One day, your life could depend on donated blood. In this setup, an automated machine collects the donor's blood and separates it according to which blood product they need. The collection machine draws whole blood from a donor's arm and separates out the mixed plasma and platelets, which is the color of straw. In every setup, some blood is diverted into a pouch for testing. In this method, they're collecting whole blood that will be separated at the lab. A worker then draws blood from the pouch for testing at the lab. Meanwhile, the machine mixes the whole blood with an anticoagulant so it won't clot in the bag. The donor's blood samples then go to the lab, where they determine the blood type and test for infectious diseases. This high-volume, high-quality blood testing machine is unique to the blood banking world. Fully automated, it helps ensure the safety of the blood supply by testing donor samples for things like hepatitis B, C and HIV. In eight hours, it runs five different blood tests on 1,000 donations without human intervention. Between each of these tests, it sterilizes every single probe in a wash solution. Another machine determines the blood type, of which there are eight. They scan the donor's collection bag and document what products they will produce from the blood. Then they weigh it. Overnight, gravity causes the blood to separate into its three components, so a worker remixes it, preparing it for machine separation. She then packs the blood and the bags for the other components into what's called a liner. She makes sure the liners are balanced and will put a rubber weight inside when she needs to. Balancing the liners keeps the centrifuge machine spinning properly at 4000 RPM as it separates the blood into layers. She then hooks up the unit of separated blood to an automated extractor and once again matches the unit with the donor. The extractor fills a bag with just red blood cells. As the machine fills the bag, it leaves behind a mixture of blood and platelets in the original container. As it extracts these red blood cells and leaves behind a portion of blood and platelets, it also fills another container with pure plasma. An incubator keeps the processed platelets well mixed. They only have five days to use these platelets. However, they freeze plasma and can use it for 12 months. Finally, they filter out the white blood cells from the red blood cells using what's called a leukoreduction filter. They also introduce an additive solution into the red blood cells and mix it all together. The additive helps the red blood cells survive for 42 days, both inside a fridge and during transportation to the hospitals.